This morning we read uh, 1 Thessalonians and chapter 4. Uh, Paul begins by speaking about holiness of life. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, set apart for him. And he gives an example of sanctification and one that's relevant for our generation too. That you should avoid sexual immorality. That each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honourable. Not in passionate lust like the pagans who do not know God. That could have been written to this generation. That could have been written right now to our society. We are called to live our holy life and sexual ethics are important. Living right, having control of our bodies, not sleeping around like the people of this world. We are called to be pure. We are called to be those who are gods. Um, in this matter, no one should wrong or take advantage of a brother or sister in this matter uh, the matter of sexual ethics we shouldn't exploit and use each other the bible's clear that we need to be honorable in that area and he said look i don't need to tell you about your love for each other you're doing that well um, in fact everyone knows how well you're living and pray that the lord will give you peace that you can preach the gospel but be respectful uh, to outsiders um, and uh, rely on yourself and your work to provide for your needs and then he goes on and he begins the passage about the second coming and he says first of all um, I want you to know about those who died those who've died will be raised again on the last day therefore don't grieve like those who have no hope we are different you grieve because you're missing the person you won't see that person again on earth so of course you grieve but you grieve your grief is limited by the hope that you have of eternal life and here's the confidence we have when the lord returns the dead in christ will rise first and will meet and then we will also be caught up with him with them in the clouds to meet the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Look at this passage again. The Lord will himself will come from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of an archangel, the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. This is no secret coming. This is a great declaration. The whole world will see the return of the Lord. We look for his return. We look for his triumphal entry into our world when the dead in christ shall rise and we will go and greet him as he establishes visibly his kingdom upon the earth we look forward to that day we'll read more about that day in um, the next chapter when we come to it in a few days time the lord bless you for today amen